Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, getting back to the work on the Cobra in this video. Uh, last video left off, I was starting to try and get the final assembly of the dash done and found out that I have a fitment issue uh, as far as the gauges go. They are impacting the square tubing that the dash bolts to. Uh, it's the top two gauges right behind the steering wheel. Um, so I need to do some clearancing work to make sure everything fits and that way I can get the correct angle on the dash so it's not rubbing on the back of the steering wheel. Uh, that being said, the only way to do that is going to be to remove the dash again uh, so I can get access. So looks like I need to dig in, start removing parts, and then I can go ahead and start making adjustments to that square tube, get the clearance I need, and then everything can be back installed and hopefully fit right and we can call this interior work done finally. So. Uh, I am going to get back to work on the car, start getting everything disassembled, and that way we can start the clearancing work. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, steering wheel removed. Really easy, you, know, you should know, just remove the one center bolt and then pull it out. Um, and then I'm probably gonna try and crawl underneath just to mark the square tube uh, as far as like where this gauge and this gauge are hitting it, because that is the issue. They're the things that are holding this up. You'll see them flex if I push on the dash. Um, and, you, know, you can actually see that they're kind of popped out as is from impacting that square tube. So I'm gonna go ahead, get a few things removed, and then we can uh, get the dash out. All right, so here we are under the dash looking up, and you can see what I'm talking about as far as the square tube, and there's the gauge. Um, you'll notice I removed the retainer from the one gauge because I kind of was feeling around, and I think that's actually all I need distance-wise as far as what's gonna keep me uh, from getting to get this thing in place. So. Pulled that off, I'm gonna trim it and reinstall it. I'm gonna do the same thing for the other gauge that's up there. I should be able to get it loose enough and uh, cut a notch out of the actual um, retainer and then get it back in place hopefully. And then uh, we'll go from there and see if that's enough to get the dash to hold back where I need it. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue on with what I'm doing. All right, here's the retainer. You can see I cut off the upper portion. I mean, that gauge is pressed so hard into place just from pressure uh, between the dash hole size and the uh, cover going through and whatnot that it really won't move even without this on. So I'm really not too worried about having any, you know, it, it coming loose or anything over time, but this is just more of like a little backup to assist. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this one reinstalled and I can work on the water temp gauge as well get that one finalized, and then we'll see uh, what we can do as far as the dash gang. A dash angle goes. All right, so second gauge, um, I went ahead and did the same thing, removed the backing for the gauge, trimmed it, but then in looking at it, as you can see here, you can see where that bar is coming down. So when I have this dash pushed back, the gauge is definitely gonna hit that. So I am gonna need the clearance right in there to give myself a little bit more room for the gauge to clear. It was definitely rubbing on the back of the gauge. Um, it's hard to see, but there was, you know, a little bit of, you know, scuffing on it. So, you know, just, just uh, adjusting the actual holder is not going to be enough for this one. This one is too close to the square tube, which is right here. I mean, it's, I can feel it and you can see it right there. So uh, that needs to get tweaked. Uh, once that's tweaked, then I can go ahead and put the gauge back in and hopefully get the dash into place. All right, well, here's a bit of good news. I did reinstall and tighten down the steering wheel just to see where I'm at as far as clearance goes. And with that gauge removed and not hitting, I can definitely push the dash in now enough where it will uh, spin freely, not rub on the uh, trim piece. So that will definitely do it. So I just need to make the adjustments so I can get the uh, keep the gauge from hitting the square tubing. And then, you know, once that center brace is in, that should hold the dash back. I may have to do some sort of little brace on the underside here just to tie the bottom of the dash somewhere around here into the uh, tubing back there. You know, a little piece of angle or uh, uh, iron bar or you know, aluminum bar or something like that. Bar stock should do the job just to tie it together. But at least I know I will be able to make this work. It's just a uh, question of you know, making a few more adjustments. So on the right path, that is definitely good news. So I've been working on it for a little while. Um, what I ended up using, or what I am using, is a drill with an abrasive bit here. Um, I was trying to use some of the rasps that I have. I think that's what they're called. Um, and they're, they're just taking too long. This is a very abrasive stone bit. Uh, and it's pretty good size as far as the diameter goes. 
So it's, it's made really good work of uh, cutting through this tube. So as you can see for this one, I've got it notched really good. Plenty of clearance all the way around the gauge. So this one is good to go. Uh, one thing I noticed is like I, when I was measuring it yesterday and checking the this gauge here, I wasn't lifting up on the dash, which it needs to be lifted up a little bit. It was sagging because these bolts are loose. Um, I'm gonna need to be a little higher to make sure I have enough clearance for the steering column itself. Uh, when I do that, this gauge does hit. So I'm gonna have to pull this gauge out as well and just do a little bit of minor adjustment. This one I had to take quite a bit out, as you can see, but it is all taken out. And you know, if you look like this is the dash pretty flat, there's plenty of clearance for the gauge to fit in there. So uh, what you're seeing here is actually just the, the cover coming back down there, it's loose. Um, so yeah, so I got one side done, just now need to work on the other, uh, pull this gauge out here, clearance this one a little bit, paint everything, and then should be good as far as clearance for the gauges goes. So here you can see I did pull out the second gauge and ground away in there. Plenty of clearance. Um, I actually tightened up the bolt. I like lifted and tightened the bolt so now there's plenty of clearance there uh, just to make sure that everything was going to be good. And this one's got plenty for the gauge. You know what you're seeing hanging down is actually just the you know, cover again that's just dropped a little bit. So uh, that's all good there. And then same with this side of ground quite a bit away to make sure there is plenty of room for the back of that gauge. So should be good. I'm gonna go ahead, grab a vacuum, try and you know clean up all this dust and debris, and then I can go ahead and put some touch-up paint on that exposed metal, let it dry, and come back and reinstall everything. Here you can see I went ahead, I did you know some cleanup, vacuumed up some of the mess, and then there's touch-up paint on all the exposed, you know, it's a sparkling black touch-up I had from an old car, so good enough, it'll do the job, no one's ever gonna see it. So I'm gonna let that dry, and then once that's dry, I can go ahead, get the gauges reinstalled, and then see about final placement of this dash. All right, coming back a couple days later, wanted to make sure everything dried really well, because it's been a little bit chillier, uh, so we are good to go. I am gonna go ahead and start getting the gauges reinstalled, so then I can uh, get back underneath the dash, clean everything up, make sure everything is tied together, and get this thing final screwed into place. So I'll come back once all that stuff is taken care of. Time for a little update. Gauges are all back in, as you can see. I put the steering wheel loosely in place. And you know, it's pushed in as far as it's gonna go. Right now it's hitting, obviously, but there's plenty of room to move this back. So it should be good to go now. The gauges are no longer keeping the dashboard from flexing. I do have it pushed all the way up as high as it'll go, and I did tighten the three screws down, so everything's tight. And in place, um, you know, that brace there will help pull it back once that's installed. But what I am thinking I may do is just fabricate some sort of strap to go from like right here underneath the steering wheel, screw in there, and then I can probably attach it. There's um, right here is a metal tab where there's this ground. I can probably make a little strap just to attach there. And that would hold the dash back where I need it to be. Just get some like aluminum bar stock. That should probably do the job. Uh, so I'll probably do something like that just as a, you know, extra little support uh, so it's not just that centerpiece because this dash, you know, it's going to have some flex to it. It's just aluminum. Um, so I'm thinking that's going to be the best bet as far as making sure this thing is fully secure and in place. All right, and here we are under the dash. I went ahead, did a little more cleanup, got some stuff taped up so it's just more organized. Uh, also went ahead and tightened up the fitting for the oil pressure gauge, which, which you can see there, going into the gauge from the back. That's all tight, snugged, and everything is set there. Uh, still need to install the other end into the engine, but for now, pretty good. And as you can see, you know, everything has got space and is lined up. Uh, so I think next on the list, we'll be trying to put together some sort of strap to hold the dash uh, so the steering wheel isn't gonna rub on it. I gotta go see what I may have laying around that I can use to fabricate. So I was scrounging around my used metal, uh, seeing what I had laying around. And I had this piece here, which actually came with the car. This was riveted in under here with the old dash. And this is actually what uh, held some switches and stuff, or it was a blanking plate or, or whatnot. You know, there was a bunch of these under the dash. But either way, this appears will be almost perfect. So I can probably shorten it up a little bit width-wise, have it attach here, shorten the height up a little bit as well. And then as far as length goes, it's pretty much gonna be perfect. Uh, you can see I do have the steering wheel tightened in place, so it's rubbing right now. So it just, you know, the dash just needs to go back about that far right there. 
Uh, so I think I will be able to shorten this up, um, probably attach some rib nuts or something. I'll figure out how I want to do a mounting on it, clean it up, and this should work. So I can have it attached, you know, like I said, right in this area on this steel, and then just run it across and pull back on the dash and just run, you know, a couple of bolts or something through the bottom. And that should do the job of holding the dash in place. So I am going to uh, look at what I have as far as fasteners go, see how I want to handle that. And then I can start trimming this thing up and uh, work on getting it installed. All right, it's time for a little update. Uh, it's the next day and I was thinking about how I wanted to do this. So what I ended up doing is I took that uh, brace that I was going to use, cut it in half, and I'm going to overlap it for support uh, like this. And what I did is I drilled four holes so I can rivet the two together down the center. And then it's going to go in. I did trim this end down. This is what's going to mount up against the um, brace that basically holds the steering in place. There's a nice thick piece of steel there that I can screw this to. And then I cut this to length and then this is what will go under the dash. Um, and then I'll have a screw going through the bottom of the dash lip into the bottom of this. So I'll put two rib nuts in this uh, once I have everything finalized. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and clean up the edges on this, try and flatten things out a little bit better. Um, and then I can get it riveted together and I'm gonna wrap it just in black vinyl. Um, it's a little chilly, so I don't wanna try painting. Plus I think the vinyl will hold up a little bit better. Um, and I've already you know, put vinyl along the front face of that three by three because it was all nicked up and had a bunch of holes from previous installations and stuff. So just a quick update. I'm gonna get to work on cleaning this up and then uh, I'll come back once all is said and done. All right, here we go, final results. Uh, it's assembled, wrapped. Um, so I basically just need to, you know, this side's gonna be hidden, this is gonna be up, so you'll be looking like this. Um, need to drill holes to get this mounted into the actual dash on this flange. And then once that's there, I can go ahead, take some uh, measure, well, what I'll probably do is drill two holes in the bottom of the actual dash flange and then have this tucked up above it and just mark the two hole spots here. And then I can go ahead, drill and install rib nuts and then this job will be done. All right, here you go. You can see the bracket is installed underneath the dash. I still haven't mounted it to the dash to hold the dash back in place, but this was just, you know, starting to figure out fitment and whatnot, see how things would fit and to get the uh, screws in and everything. So that portion is done. So yeah, all that's left is uh, getting a couple holes in the bottom of the dash here to figure out how I'm gonna mount it to the strap and then uh, getting everything finalized there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get back to work on that so I can call this a job done. All right, quick update. Um, I went ahead, I used this tape here. You can see everything is spaced out. I'm using that tape to push the dash forward, keep the steering wheel off the boss. Um, and then I went ahead and I used this clamp here, pulled down the new brace to the dash flange, got everything flush here, and then I just ran two holes with a eighth inch drill bit through the bottom of the dash that you can see there. Uh, and then all the way up through the brace. So I'm gonna take that support out now, uh, install some rib nuts, and then I can dr over, uh, over drill these two holes in the bottom of the dash, and this should be a job complete. So I will come back once all that is done. All right, and here the nut certs are installed. Uh, they are 10, 24s, same as I used for the dash, because I have a bunch of these uh, fasteners with the collars and that's what I'm going to use. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this mounted back up on the brace and then see if everything screwed together and hopefully we will have a successful dash brace that keeps the dash from rubbing the back of the steering wheel boss uh, back in a little bit. All right, well there you go. Everything is screwed in. You can see the two screws installed. Everything's tightened up and if you look there is a gap there. It's hard to see. It's not going to want to focus. Try and focus here, I don't know if it's going to, but you should be able to see that there's a gap there and no more rubbing. So we are good, that uh, did the job. Brace was successfully installed and uh, yeah, it'll hold the dash where it needs to be. And I'm sure once I put the center brace in, uh, that'll definitely make it even that much more secure. So uh, yeah, definitely gonna call that a win and one uh, less thing on the list of things to do. And with that, I think I am gonna call this a video. 
Uh, pretty productive one, uh, very happy. Looks like the uh, dash is finally installed, which this has been a long time coming. Uh, so uh, as far as videos go, um, this is currently the weekend before Christmas weekend. Um, probably won't have anything Christmas weekend because it's gonna be a busy week uh, trying to get everything ready for the holidays and whatnot. And then, you know, it's gonna be traveling and all that stuff next weekend. So next video will most likely be a couple of weeks out unless I do something midweek. Uh, we'll see how things go time-wise. Um, next video is probably going to be something related to getting the center brace installed. That's going to be a project in itself because I'm doing kind of a custom setup versus how Factory 5 wants you to install it, trying to make it look a little more authentic, a little bit more real. So uh, that'll be a pretty good video uh, that should pretty much tie up the entire time. So um, if you're interested in following along and seeing where things go with this car, you know what to do. Um, if you have any questions, comments, uh, please leave them in the comments section. I do review them. I would appreciate it. It does help with the algorithm. Uh, that being said, thank you very much for watching and have a great day.